How we going everyone? It's been a long time. Uh, do a bit of an update and some explanation of what's going on. I've uh, I sort of got the shits with putting up YouTube things, what have you, uh, more because, I don't know, it was taking a lot of time. Uh, not only that, just making me anxious and, and stuff with people watching. So I don't know why, it just it is what it is. So I stopped doing it, but I'm going to start doing it again. Um, so I apologise for everyone that was watching that series, but I will get back to it. I'll, I'll start doing it again. But I'll, I'll tell you about the bike. Well, it got all the way up to the top. When I got it back into cans, I... I that needed a new, whole new front suspension and the back suspension was collapsed as well. So that was all done there. That cost a fortune, but it's all right. It is what it is. Then we went out into the bush and got out to central Queensland and I got bogged and destroyed the pulley where that was three and a half weeks to get that sorted out. Got going and then ended up uh, in Darwin and then ended up out in the edge of the Tanami out there and, and got a job out there working in a pub for months and months so we got it back now to New South Wales and it's been locked in a shed since I've had it back for about four or five months and well today I got it out and thought I'll go for a ride went down and I'm gonna give the old Harley a whole bunch of love so I've bought some new wheels and bought some handlebars for it some ape hangers and shit Bought a new compensator, bought a new chain for the primary, bought all this stuff, new belts and, and everything. And as I'm riding back from Harley on the central coast, I managed to kill it. So now I need to get a trailer to come and take it. Look at this. I got a flat tyre in fucking suburbia. I've got a flat tyre. I'm stuck on the fucking side of a road. Look at this million fucking going past. Well, none at the moment. Look at that. As soon as I said that, there's none. But anyway, whole bunch of cars going past in suburbia, like 15 k from home, and I'm fucking stuck. You get that. Anyway, guys, that's my explanation of what's going on. I do hope to get back with to making the rest of those videos in the next couple of weeks. Um, so you can actually see what what this bike's been through um, But let's let's just have a quick look at the bike now and, and I'll show you how much love I've given it look at it What a beast We've done Modifications to the handlebars because they were bending so we made this thing here It's uh it, it's Got a few stickers on it now It's uh, actually ridden not hidden it's, uh, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's got some rust going on along there, which is not good, but anyway, we managed to gouge out the both sides here. We've added a spotlight for a bit more night time, and, and that's how we fix stuff on it. Um, this green paint that's all here, this was from a a John Deere tractor had to pick it up and these are held on with cable ties because they're fucked um, but all in all it's in good shape see you guys I'll put up a new video in the next couple of weeks and we'll get back on track again eh? thanks for following me and apologise for dicking you around with the, how long it's taken to get the next lot going catch you guys